Welcome into the first game of the season that we will be showcasing live. SW District's back, taking on Western Province. We are in first place. We've had two remarkable results. Let's go over those results, shall we? They, these are very important wins. Beat Easton's by 10 wickets. Got the 370 all out with Miller. Um, 112 of 252 deliveries, 10 boundaries. Majun and Sada getting 68 and 60. Uh, 4 for 98 for Callas uh, was the pick of the bowlers with the other bowlers getting a share of the wickets. And then a good bowling display. Bowled them out for 131. Swanepoel 3 for 29. 2 for 33 for Rutherford. 2 for 21 for Crooks. 2 for 6 for Sada and 1 for for Hudson. That was a great, great effort. They're a wee bit better in the uh, next innings. They got to 239 all outs. Uh, again, Hudson and Crooks, three wickets apiece. Swanepoel 2 for 39. Um, bit of resistance from Wilkinson and Williams this time, 64 and 61 respectively. But yeah, we only ended up, as you can see, only needing to get the one run, which we did pretty comfortably. Umpumbalanga are a lot harder opposition. Uh, they got through to 303 with um, Tocolo Crocs, uh, 6 for 62. Looks like a real promising player, actually, Tocolo Crocs. He started off the season exceptionally well. A few nice wee towers there, and he's got his average down to 27. Um, with the ball there. Hudson 2 for 76. One for Spanapol and Rutherford. 108 for Wilson in the second game. Getting up a ton. It's pretty impressive. Wessels with 59. So they've got some young players coming through the ranks. We got through to 266 with Stridham 6 for 77. And Miller 78 and Mulder 73 were the mainstays of that innings. And we bowled them out for 174 um, in their second innings. So good performances for Spanapol and Rutherford again. And Crooks 2 for 34. One for Fasada and Mulder. Didn't really get going in that innings. And we managed to get there in the end. 212 for 5 with Miller 55. Who started the season really well. And Mulder with important 32. So that was a good result to get. And that's just put us in such a great position to survive this season as well. Uh, just got to get a couple of draws here and there. And I think we'll be alright. We made an instant improvement on last season. Didn't even win a first class game. Now we've won 2. Eastern problems are not going to be easy. As you can see, Sato, Rutherford, and Swanepo on international duty now. Uh, so the team has had to call up a player that the board signed in Sean Smith. 7915, can't complain. He's in good form. Um, just have to give him a go and see if he turns out to be all right. Uh, but yeah, we're debt's been tested. We've got um, Alan Cahoon on debut as well. See how well he goes. Uh, obviously, Crooks and Hudson will open up. Johnson getting his um, another game. Mulder with 177 matches under his belt will be an important seven in that um, lineup there. We're going to move Vajon up to five. This will be a test. I think we're, our debt's going to really, really sorely be... Yes, we've gone for a batting surface as well, uh, just to try and um, force uh, the bowlers to get through some big spells and hopefully some of our other, other key players step up. Yeah, really excited to bring another season of SW Districts Cricket. It's um, always a joy to bring this um, career mode. Um, I did see Crick Captain 2023 was announced. We'll take our time to get to that. If we haven't got the career done, we'll keep it going. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go our way to that. So, 21 for one. Early look at uh, Miller striking at the other end. Ben De Bruyne batting a long period of time here. We just haven't got the depth in the club. <laughs> the bowling's fine. It's just the batting that just beer bones of a, of a unit to work with this with um people demanding high wages and to keep certain players at the club it's a good shot 50 up we get something competitive on the board notorious getting an um opportunity he's, he's just handy you know like 28 average is not outstanding or anything but he's I had a few 50s and 100 in his time. And he's going to have to provide that over the next few seasons. So he doesn't ask for too much wages. That's why we keep him. Yeah, the depth's been drained out of the club the last few seasons. A lot of high-profile exits. You look at Rickleton, you look at Varane, you look at Gain now. How oh well Duper C gone. That, that's a lot of good players that we've had it's gone due to budget constraints. Just wish there was some way of sort of getting things on board and getting a bit more budget to work with for performing better, but that's just the way it is. 50 for Ben De Bruyne. 
28 years of age now. Much a very, very good player. Domestic level. Match is going around the ground. 61 for four bowling. Doing reasonably good. 97 without loss. Easton and Pombalanga. Uh, haven't seen them too much at the top division. Always a tough match against them for some reason. Like, I, I always struggled against that team. We had to beat them because they had just been promoted. And we've had that experience at Division 1 now. It's a good shot. Leans on that. And that's a good boundary. Crucial boundary. Torres is out. It's out for 34. Brings Miller in, who's in a good sense of form. Yeah, the 19-year-old Ishmael Miller. A bit of experience already under his belt. 1-2-2 two, two for 2. Looks that off the pads. That's 4 more. shot away seeking to win this title seeking to be uh, a division one champion oh no Ben De Bruyne you will be departing for 83 that to be a big hundred Can't really afford our keeper to get injured. He's the only keeper in the squad at the moment. We seem to see how the um, board signing goes in Sean Smith. Very rare opportunity in our uh, team. Historically, the players that they sign are not good. And John has run out for three, so here we go. He's going to get a debut. He's going to have to contribute some runs here, along with um, the rest of the order. Can he provide any support to Miller? Who just looks like he's just worked himself out a wee bit after last season. So this plays and misses. He's got one run on debut. He's hanging in there at the moment. He's making it easy for himself. Got the edge. 78 for four SW districts. Now Miller is out, so just yeah, you know, we're in a position where it's gonna be tough going. Province in control. Smith is gone. His first um game is out for six. I think we will be just trying to shut up shop a wee bit, bat some time out. There's a batting surface at the end of the day. Beautiful shot. 200 up. Holder should be really batting higher than Smith too at the end of the day, but... Juan Mulder, 35 years of age. It's played a lot of cricket all around the world. Look at that. Look at all that experience there. He's played quite a few handy games. He's been a good all-rounder in the first-class game for us. We might need his value the next couple of seasons. Like, he is going to demand too much salary, which is great. Might be able to provide some handy runs, handy wickets. So, your districts want to be around about 260, 270, I think. Just to get somewhat of a competitive score on the board. Can't afford injuries with their paper thin depth. Oh, we're going for 33. Johnson in. He's going to be asked to bat some time out in the middle. His ninth first class game. He hasn't really made the impact at SW Districts that he would have liked so far. Good shot from Hudson. Probably more the unlikely, unluckiest cricketer is ever not to play for Safka in this save. Those are really spectacular numbers. He's been in the squad too. I think, um, I think he, he's very, been very unlucky, but he's been incredibly valuable here. Getting 
doesn't have time. Maybe up, up his game. He's on 40 at the end of day one, 267 for seven. So we have scrapped uh, towards a competitive uh, first inning score at the very least against Western Province. Shot. Hudson will get our end. And that is a very valuable uh, score here for Hudson. He's gone for 50, but that is a 50 that was very badly needed. Johnson gone as well. 287. Crocs will hook that away for four. 294. And we're going to be 295 all out after 111 overs. So hard fought scores for Ben Debron top scoring. 50 for Hudson. 40 and 30 and 30 there. It's a competitive score. And Hudson just need him to be in good form here as we just take wickets of Western Province. To call our Crocs and him opening up uh, today. Two Pacey's. Of a go 49 for one after 15. To get through some overs here. Mulder Hudson back, just gonna have to tone it down a wee bit. All pace attack, rain has stopped play, so a bit of um, inclement weather about. Johnson will strike, Hudson will pitch it up a wee bit. 154 for two. Just trailing by 141 runs. Debutants has been hit around a wee bit. He's going to get a wee bit of time. 217 for two. Just to step up in opposition. It's meaning they're really struggling here to get the breakthroughs that are required. That's an, been having a bowl. Plenty of overs here. Get through plenty of work. Look at Erasmus for 137. Good innings from uh, Tariq Erasmus. 500's already in his career. Looks like a South African bound player. International wise, Van Wake. Come on as well. So Mulder strikes. A couple of good moments here for the SW District side. Tough day for Johnson. Some province are really piling on the runs and a wicket for the debutant. Okay, Hoon. Hune has got the wicket. Masibi up for 99. Annoyed with that. That would have been his um, 14. The new ball will be taken. Yeah, the, the depth of that club is just been truly tested. It's good for these um, bowlers to get that experience though, because they could be called upon. It's good. Yeah, exceptional surface to bat on. Freira is out uh, now. Hudson will pick up another wicket. B. Freira gone. And we'll strike again. Gone for 61. Much interval. Lead is quite comprehensive. Two hundred nine, the lead, and they declare five hundred four for eight. A good performance from Erasmus, Ferreira with hundreds, Masibi just missing out on his. Both is uh, sixty one, and yeah, just a dominant display here um, by the Western Province side. Just a few districts be just looking to bat some time out if they can get a draw out of this and just move their cause up a wee bit, get further from uh, being relegated. So we're in that battle last season. I don't want to be in at this particular one. Still an exceptional surface to bat on. Was it a master stroke making it a batting surface? I think it is. Just gives our um, weaker batting lineup a bit of a chance with not too much um, happening on the surface. Lost away. 35 without loss. First and foremost, erase this deficit get somewhat of a lead up and yeah we'll be pretty much on the money that 
is a lovely 50. Hughes a record 50s. Playing a good knock here. Gina, he's he's a leader on the side now. He's he's got to step up. Up to 57. That 50s in the campaign so far. That that's a good career for um a domestic player really uh, for SW Districts. We'll see his gameplay go to the next level with uh, Port Elizabeth. Did he leave it? He's gone. Ah, oh, it's no ball. You'll be kicking yourself there. That was plum. Vince have got the first wickets. And he finally departs. He's out in the 60. 67 off 87. Victorious in. veteran still plenty of time to bat because it's only session three day three SW districts have batted reasonably reasonably well so far it's played and missed at that one Telemarchus fights his way to another um, half century. Just the 23 years of age. He's already got 12 50s, 200s. He's averaging 50 in the first class format. So the promising, promising career ahead. It's a beautiful shot from Rubatorius. In the day's play at 165 for one. Orleans beat Easton's by one wicket. Interesting game. Uh, <laughs> Sakhtali Zuma man the match. The six for. Oh, that's an early wicket on the... Sorry, um, early day, day four. 34 Victorious. Brings Miller in. Miller gone for a dark. This is exactly the start that Western Province required. So the pressure. Again, this batting time occupying the crease, frustrating the opponent is what we need to do. Top of that hook shot, four runs to Telemachus. Swap there, that's gone for six. The lead's only six now for Province. Gets it away for four, and the scores are tied. We now lead by a run, so they have to bat again. Brooks it down to that vacant third man. That's a good shot. Moves to 83. on the side now. He had to wait a long time to get his opportunity, but he's proved to be quite valuable. Good keepers are good, hard to come by at the moment. Lunch interval day four. As long as this partnership goes, the more frustrating it will be. They have to get us away out this session, I, I dare say. That's 100 for Telemark, just to 101 of 282 deliveries. Special um, first class player. Districts be confident that they can draw this game now. Runs are starting to pile on, and the lead's more importantly quickly getting close to 50. Up for 44. Shot, that is four. It's four. Telemachus. Telemachus, another four. And this is positive batting from the SW District side. Good to see Smith get some runs. 
see if the board have signed anyone good. He's is, is three day, one day, and 20 over stats for second level. Okay. Right, just a valuable, valuable foil down the um, order. Just a 14. I just can't break the partnership quickly enough. He has played an important part here, Sean uh, Smith. Three hundred and six before. Good shot down the ground. Ask for anything more from him. He's moved to twenty four. One hundred and fifteen run lead. You'd have to say Province are not going to get the result here. And SW District should be happy with how the first lot of games have gone. That's out. Smith's gone for thirty. Mulder in. Looking to just be useful. Bet. 30, 40, 50 deliveries, and there'll be the game shut out. Clayton Telemachus, crucial um, innings. He will be out now. It's been a valiant effort. Out for 142, 392 deliveries, 13 fours and a six. Hudson in now. Hudson will be out straight away for a golden duck. I want to give them any opportunity with a sniff for three. So just keep piling those runs on. This is a productive over. That is probably taking the game almost out of reach now. 142 run lead. Johnson beautifully caught in the slips. Jackson will strike. Six fifth. Good to see Sada and Mulder getting runs in that middle order when they desperately do require to get them. Bit of an edge. 28 minutes to go in the uh, in the game. Can you bring up a um, half century? Deserves one, um, one Mulder. 94 for eight. Way before, and there it is, half century. Very valuable. 250s in the um, competition already. 35 year old veteran, still adding some incredible value. 400s up. Four overs remaining. He's out. He'll be kicking himself. He wanted to probably bat to the end of the um, close of play. All time highest score against Western Province and a valuable draw for SW Districts. We'll take the 10 points from that. We still sit in first place. We can have a good um, next game and maybe possibly sneak um, a draw even. We should be safe. Taking on Bolin, who are in third. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you for um, probably the Port Elizabeth campaign. You'll probably um, join us for the Centurion game. So we'll play three games offline and have a three-game episode next one. So join us for that. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you next time.